They come in all shapes and sizes. They perform tasks that humans don't want to do themselves. And they have even proven to be better at it than us. They do their chores and jobs ever agreeable, ever even tempered, and highly professional. Lovable and intelligent, uncanny and human-like, robots have gradually integrated into our lives. And now the question arises, will they one day replace us? Will our human abilities be rendered useless? Japan and its incredible robots have the answer. Robots, they are simultaneously both science and fiction. We are on the verge of an era where robotic devices become a ubiquitous part of our lives and machines are given abilities to perform tasks in the physical world on our behalf. Leading the world in robotics and artificial intelligence research is Japan, a country known for its love for robots. In this futuristic city, robots have overtaken humans. They have become receptionists and guides, allowing companies to save costs and resources. Lunchtime, let's go have a meal. Osaka, the robot city of Japan. The city is known for its long-running history in robotics and currently houses hundreds of companies working on robots. As the robot capital of the world, Osaka has emerged as a leading maker of next-generation robots, ones that can act independently to perform complex tasks in various different areas. Robotics is an industry based on groundbreaking technologies. When we open up a robot, we see mostly the big bits. There is the frame which makes the robot structure. Then the mechanics, which include electric motors to make fine muscles and servos and actuators to make the joints move. The electronics of a robot corresponds to the biological nervous system. The microcontroller. This is the actual brain of the robot. It's the device the scientists program to control all the other systems. The control center collects all of the sensory data, organizes it, records it, and then sends out commands in response. And this is the hardest aspect of robotics, artificial intelligence. But what if robots become too intelligent? Could they one day replace us? The country's love for robots is depicted in the early records of Japanese history. And even as changes and developments occurred within the country, their fascination with humanoid machines grew stronger. The karakuri, meaning trick or mechanism, are wooden clockwork puppets renowned for their elaborate costumes and stage tricks. And the most famous karakuri doll is undisputably the Chahakobi Ningyo, or tea-serving doll. Hailed as the robot from the Edo period, the wind-up doll is able to travel a preset distance from its host to the guest and perform the quintessential act of Japanese hospitality, serving green tea. The dolls were a precursor to Japan's industrialization in the 19th century and the birth of humanoid robots in the next. Made from seven kinds of wood and powered by wheels and spring coils, these intricate dolls can write calligraphy and even shoot arrows. These dolls represent the oldest manuscript of mechanical engineering in Japan and helped pave the way for modern-day robotics technology. The Osaka Science Museum is home to Japan's first modern robot, a direct descendant of the medieval Karakuri doll. Built in 1928, Gaku Tensoku was created to awe and entertain. But rather than a robot doll, he's more of a robot Buddha. The golden robot moves slowly, stuns visitors as he moves its eyes, smiles, contemplates, and then writes Chinese calligraphy. In 
Gaku Tensoku is motorized by compressed air and airflow pressure. Air pressure regulators power the rubber tubes inside the robot's arms and torso to facilitate his movements. Air pressure is also used to make its chest rise and fall, making it look as if the robot is breathing. Ironically, for all its intricacy, Gaku Tensoku was not built by an engineer, clockmaker or roboticist, but by a biologist turned newspaper man, Makoto Nishimura. He propagated the idea that robots should be the ideal humans. Nobody knew back then that this human-like robot would actually mark the beginning of a nation's obsession and love for machines. In order to understand why Japan is the robotic powerhouse it is today, we must understand how the country's love for these machines came about. Robots have been in Japanese culture for hundreds of years, and its people have accepted robots as part and parcel of their lifestyle. The most famous comic superhero in Japan is the Mighty Atom, also known as Astro Boy. Astro Boy is as iconic to Japan as Mickey Mouse is to the United States. Created by the manga artist Osama Tezuka, the Mighty Atom is a story of love, sacrifice and benevolent technology. The Robot Boy eventually becomes a hero who fights against evil for the better of mankind. The immense success of the Mighty Atom only amplified the Japanese love for robots. The brave and kind-hearted Robot Boy won his way into the hearts of millions and has since become an icon of benevolent technology. Many Japanese researchers so much affected by the, the Astro Boy. When I was very young, I saw the cartoon. We like to build, we like to realize the, this robot. To the Japanese, Astro Boy is fundamentally different from other robots because he has a human soul. He is a moral agent who has a strong sense of justice. Next up, Japanese robotics advances by leaps and bounds. Artificial intelligence turns out to be too good to be true, and robots become man's best friends.